<laughs> What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and we are back at it again with another collection. This boy weighs 92 pounds. So for last week, the number was 1400. I think two people got it. I'm not 100% sure. I've not checked the comments yet. Um, this one is going to be, I'll give you guys a hint, and then five or zero, like I said, this is about in that same vicinity. Obviously it'll end in a five or a zero, like I said. Um, but this is a big box. I got this from a dude on hop up named Brian. He was getting out of the sport. He said, Hey man, there's my collection. And so this is the biggest Amazon package I've ever seen. It's got the little Amazon logo on the side. And so let's get into this bad boy. All right. Obviously this box is massive and wow, there are some giant gun bags in here. Okay. So it looks like this box, <laughs> I, he actually segmented this. Oh my God goodness all right give me a minute all right up first we're gonna do his helmet setup so this is a fast helmet this is actually very similar to mine i believe this is like an emerson yeah it's literally the exact same fast helmet setup that i kind of have um obviously i've replaced everything on it externally and internally and i have cry cover and i really love my helmet setup but this is a great base um they're cheap and they're affordable so they're really good he's got some ztac headsets on the side this one did fall off um, you have little clips that go to these arc rails or what they're called. So you can see that one is there. So the other one is in here somewhere. Um, so it looks like it clips on right there. A lot of the real steel shooters do this with their helmet setups. Instead of having all those wires, for those of you that run mesh lowers and kind of have them around your head and your goggles, it's just really nice to have everything run through your helmet setup. So I really like that. He's got the multi-cam um, flags facing the front on here, which is pretty cool. And it looks like some sort of FMA IR thing up top. Or I, probably this is like a night game dead light is what I'd assume. Um, doesn't look like they're currently on or yes, yeah, so it looks like they're either dead or <laughs> you have to put new batteries in them or have to hold on to them longer, but nice helmet setup. All right, up next is his plate carrier. So I believe he was a bigger dude, kind of bigger than me. Um, he was definitely older. Uh, I think he was probably like dad age. Um, I'm getting there, trust me, but not quite there yet. Um, and so he's got, I think this is a, just a basic Condor plate carrier. I don't actually see any branding on this, but he's got some nice pouches in the front. Looks like he was running doubles on the front he's got a little bit of an admin pouch here um, has some screwdriver which is a nice propane adapter in there is what he ran this is one of those things that you can kind of like uh, for real military stuff if there's issues if you need to put care off like there's injury you can kind of pull it's a quick detach or whatever and I think these shoulder harnesses like fall apart but I'm not sure I use a cry JBC and I haven't run anything different since then. He's got an airsoft junkies patch on here as well. And I think this is what he used for his HPA tank. You guys know I love polar stars. It's always exciting when I see a polar star in something. Um, the back here he's got, looks like a, some gauze, maybe a little basic IFAC kit. He's got a Leatherman in here, which is actually pretty nice. Um, so that's kind of what he used as his iFi kit. Probably use these at some AMS events. We actually had to like wrap ourselves with these if you did not have a tourniquet. Um, it was way nicer once you got a tourniquet because <laughs> that was just a lot, it saved a lot of time if you were getting medic back in. Um, he's got some mag pouches on the side here. So it looks like he was either running, uh, I think these actually might be single. So it, might, it looks like he was running uh, four here and three here. So seven, I'm not sure if these are doubles, but they look like they're singles. And these look like they're definitely a little bit higher quality. Everything else looks kind of just basic. And then he's got um, his pistol pouches here. This is like an off-brand multicam. For those of you that know, this is much more, you can see kind of the color difference. This looks like a little bit more real multicam as opposed to this. It doesn't matter in airsoft, but in real stuff, it does matter. But nice play here. I like how he set it up. All right, before we get into the guns and gear next, I actually have, I think, the first official like video in video sponsor um, that I've ever had. YouTube pays me next to nothing when it comes a month because I do airsoft and guns and they hate anything related to guns. Bam, that's how much I make a month. It's not very good at all if you looked at any of the other YouTubers. But Goody reached out to me and they're like, hey man, we have projectors and we would really be interested in if you would do a review on them. And my friends in college and high school always had projectors or like one of the families did. And I've never bought one. I'm not very familiar with them. But it's been super, super cool to have. This is like the higher end one of the projectors. They actually gave me a 15% off link. I'll throw that there if you guys want to use it. This is the higher end one, but they also have some really nicer, more affordable options for those of you that are a little bit younger. I had never had one before, but I honestly, we have movie nights at our house in my apartment all the time, either upstairs, downstairs. And so the fact that we may be able to do this either outside, I think on the wall of our house um, for birthday parties and stuff, I'm really excited to use it. Even just look at her. She's so shiny and cool. All right, accessory bag time. Oh my gosh. I bet this honestly weighs probably like 30 pounds as it is. Uh, I think this is all the accessories and stuff. I appreciate that he threw them in separate box. Oh, up first here we have a Ninja 
carbon fiber tank that looks like it's hecka old. This might be the oldest Ninja tank I have ever seen. Hydro was in 2012. That's like eight years. Wow. Dang, this man even put baggies around everything. So we got BB's here. Um, he's got a bag O version two internals, I believe. Up next, we have what I believe to be all Polar Star stuff. There's a lipo charger in there. He's got some grease, some extra nozzles, buckings, uh, FCU batteries. It looks like he's got another solenoid in there too, which is really nice. Uh, that's a speed trigger box, and then some sort of microphone and vertical grip. Scope bag of goodies. It looks like there's a basic sniper scope in here. Um, some sort of FMA peck box, I believe. Uh, I think this one's actually a laser light combo. Looks like it's a nicer one. Got an optic in there, another optic red dot, aim, quick aim red dot. Ooh, like one of those super cool green lasers as well. Up next, one of the Odins. Every time I see one of these, I was there when they the guy actually pitched this in South Carolina like eight years ago to Wallace at Z-Shot. So I got to see the first like prototype model. Always thought that was kind of cool. Um, we have a G&G &G stock of some sort here. And then looks like another bag of random goodies. Looks like this might be the glove slash silicone spray bag. Huh. All right, it's gun bag time. You guys have waited long enough. I have waited long enough. Oh my gosh, this thing probably weighs like 50 pounds, bro. Let's see how satisfying this is. Mmm. All right, up first we have a G&G, &G, some sort of G&G &G upper, I believe. This is actually pretty cool. This looks like the Magpul MOE carbine um, kind of front end kits. It's pretty nice. We got Hecka mags. It looks like there's a bunch of the Evike BAMF mags in here. I believe these are actually the old P mags. These used to be like the most desired mags, that is not a high quality one. That's like an E-Mag. The E-Mag used to be cheaper and the P-Mags were like the old really high quality Magpul mags that like everybody wants. But it looks like this man has 25 mags in here if we'll see. Handful number one, handful number two, and handful number three. So yeah, there's a one Lonex flash mag in here, a few high caps, but mostly all mids. All right, baby, it is gun time. Oh my gosh. I've actually never owned one of these. There you go, BBs. Um, this is one of the SAI GRYs. I've seen these forever. This is a GMP OEM gun. I, I don't know why I've never had one of these, to be honest. I'm really confused as well because they've been out for a while. It's not like they're any new gun. Um, but man, actually, first impressions feel awesome. I, you guys know I love GMP stuff. Um, I love SAI stuff as well. It's got this awesome muzzle brake device in the front of here with a suppressor amplifier thing. Um, it's got a muzzle brake, but it looks like it's also an amplifier. I'm not sure how the real one works, but I believe this is like a kind of compensator slash flash reduction. It might be some sort of suppressor silencer style. Um, obviously it's got an HPA in engine in here. I believe this is a fusion engine. Yeah, I think this is a gen two revision three. Got a pro win hop up in there. He's got all upgraded internals for that stuff but man the externals i can't get over how nice these feel i don't know if this is a stock selector switch as well but it feels really good it kind of feels like one of those ergo selector switch for a real ar for those of you that know a nice grip on here as well i don't know if this is the one that comes stock with it i would guess this is extra but man this feels so cool i really 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 like this gun i love this i love the look of it i love the body i actually was looking into getting a real LVOA, I know it's kind of in the same realm, but some of the stuff for those high-end rifles are so expensive. But I really, really like what Brian did with this gun. A beautiful, beautiful specimen. NC Star Red Dub on top, irons. Um, the gold, the SAI gold just looks so good. Up next, we have another upper. This one has a Daniel Defense rail on it. This is the AR 9.0 light rail. I'm not exactly sure which brand upper this is. It's either, I would assume it's either G&G &G like the other one, or maybe this is an old GMP upper so maybe he ran different ones he's got like some other parts in here as well i think this is the gearbox this might have been the gearbox for that sai to be honest dang the dude had a bunch of barrels gng stock barrel setup uh, i think this is the gmp one probably on the sai uh, this is a basic plastic one but it has a mad bull 6.01 aircraft aluminum barrel in it up next we have his gun that he used a ton this is a vfc polar star pr15 i think they're vfc oem um it's got this nice magpul pts ergo grip right here he might have gripped the mag by the magwell i don't know if that's how he kind of shot i know my dad really likes to shoot by the magwell wow that's tight 
Um, I, my dad used to really like to shoot from the magwell. I believe the barrel is all the way, yeah, it's literally all the way to the end of the suppressor. So this thing is shooting mad range. This is a fusion engine as well. This is probably an older one, I would assume. I would probably this maybe like Gen 2 or Vision 2. I'm not 100% sure. I'll check. It's hard to tell unless you really know. He's got an extendo clip on the end here. This is the Mad Bull A stock, I believe. Yeah, Socom A stock. I actually had one of these a long time ago, but that feels super good. I always loved this little like foam pad on there. I think I'm actually gonna put some sort of uh, the soft side Velcro or the, the fuzzy Velcro on my real AR-15 for the stock. I just really like how it feels in the cheek when I'm shooting it. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I think this is an ergo grip as well. It's kind of got the thumb rest on that side for those like sniper people, whatever, or left side, I guess. Left side if you're manipulating it. Um, Daniel Defense Mark 18 rail. Everybody loves the Mark 18 rail. Can't go wrong with them. Um, I really like this setup a lot. This was his workhorse. He said he used this a lot, and this was the gun he used the most, and then he got that SAI GRY recently. But I love this gun. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, some more accessory time. All right, guys, I messed up. I missed an entire side pocket here on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in post-production. Um, he included two regulators. One is, uh, I believe, an old amped regulator, and then he put some sort of red line attachment on here. I think these are both custom, to be honest, because this is red line too. But this, I'm actually not 100% sure what it is. And then he's got two extra lines. And then he also included two really nice tanks. So this is a Falcon. I believe this is a 90 4500. And then these ones are both in hydro. And then this one is a Ninja Super Light 77, which I've never seen before. Uh, I really like the color, honestly, but it's a super nice tank. Found the little helmet rail thing. Um, up, up last and certainly not least, a good old basic, like, Fidriga, this was used to be mine, I don't know brand this is, I had a Fidriga on one, this is a UTG. This was like, if you did not start with this plate carrier when your grandma got it, um, then you're probably doing something wrong, to be honest, because this is exactly how I started. I was like 12, me and Jared both got these, they were like 40 bucks, and they, kid you not, came down to my knees. Like, we were rocking them, and we were like using our, uh, I don't even know if we had airsoft pistols at that point, to be honest, but they were like coming down to our knees, walking around the living room we got them. We were like so excited, uh, but good little start. I appreciate you guys coming to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. Can't say no to Polar Stars. Um, if you guys did like this video, leave a like uh, on it. I don't ever ask for those, but it'd be nice because YouTube has taken my videos and is like, psh, psh, what, guns? Psh, psh, what, you're, you're not a liberal? Psh, psh. Ah, I said it.